Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a manufacturing KPI dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this manufacturing KPI dashboard. This is the home page of the dashboard and from here you can navigate to the different pages. So let's jump to the dashboard page first. So you can click on this dashboard button to see the dashboard. Here we have 12 KPIs and this is KPI group, KPI name and the unit and this is the type of the KPI LTB and UTB. LTB means lower the better or upper the better. Okay, so you can define your KPI here like if it is lower the better or if it is upper the better. Accordingly, we will show the color condition in the MTD and YTD numbers. You can change the month name from here and the whole data will be changed automatically. This is totally dynamic dashboard. Now here we are showing the actual number of the MTD means the month which you have selected and the target number for that month. And this is target versus actual. So you have achieved 123% of the target, but because it was the LTV, lower the better, so it is in red. Similarly, the second one is the UTB, and you have achieved 104%, so it is in green. And this is previous year month, same month in the previous year, and this is the comparison with the previous year. And here we are showing the YTD numbers and the YTD targets and the comparison of the actual versus YTD numbers. And this is the same period previous year means the YTD number for the previous year. And this is the previous year versus actual number. Okay, so this is totally dynamic. Now let me show you the other pages also. The second one is the KPI trend. You can see the more information about a specific KPI. So you can select the KPI from here Accordingly, the whole information will be changed. For example, we have selected the first pass yield and here we are showing the KPI group which is the quality. The unit is percentage, the type is UTB, upper the better. And this is the formula we are calculating on the base of this. And this is the definition of the KPI. Then we are showing here MTD trend for this one. We have taken some dummy data. Okay, and then this is the BYTD trend. You can see here you can change the KPI and then whole chart and the other things will be changed automatically all right just click on this home button then we have three input sheet here first one is the actual so just click here and here you have to enter the actual numbers for the YTD and MTD for this month similarly here we have just given some dummy numbers for now Now let me show you the other pages. So we have the target. So here you have to enter the target by TD and MTD for the all month. And if you want to change the month, you can change it from actual. So like here we have put first date of the year, but if you want to create, let's say for 2025, so you can just change it. The whole thing will be changed automatically everywhere, even in dashboard also, you can just select it from here. Okay, so this will be changed. And similarly, you can change it again for 2024. Okay, from here you have to change the month. Now let's come to the target and here you can enter the target. This is the same format. And this is the previous year data and you can change the data here for the previous year. Whatever year you have entered, this will take the same month for the last year. Okay, so automatically months are coming here. You just need to enter the data MTD and YTD. All right. Now, once you have entered the data, then that data will reflect automatically on the dashboard. All right. Now, let me show you the definition page also. This is the page which you have to decide very first. And here you have to enter the KPI group, KPI name, unit of the KPI, formula of the KPI, then definition of the KPI, and then the type like whether it is LTB or UTB, upper the better or lower the better. All right. So first just input this information, then you have to input the actual target and previous year and automatically dashboard and the KPI trend will be created. Let me show you how we have created this one each and everything. So first just press Alt T O to open the Excel options, go to the advanced, 
scroll it down and from here just click so seat tabs click on ok so we can see all the seat tabs we have one hidden seat tab also that is support so enable this one also so let's first come to the kpi definition this is the simple seat you have to enter this information okay then in the kpi input seat here we have taken the simple formula basically we are taking this whole information from the kpi definition seat so we have just used the equal to formula similarly in the target we have used the equal to formula and the py also we have used the equal to formula you can see that here once we have entered the data then we have created the dashboard to create the dashboard we have just protected this one so first let's go to the review and unprotect this there is no password so you can just unprotect it simply here we have taken this kpi details formula so let me go to the formulas name manager and i will show you the all formulas this is again simply equal to formula you can see we are taking from here whatever the value available here we are taking there and we have given some placeholder also if you are adding more kpis they will reflect automatically here okay so this is all information simply coming from the kpi definition this information is coming from the actual sheet this is from the target so we have used if this value is blank then we should take blank otherwise we should run this formula now let me show you this formula mtd actual so again go to the formulas name manager then mtd actual and here we have simply used the vlookup function on the basis of actual seat so here we have this kpi name and we have here this actual seat again we have the kpi name so we have just used the vlookup function here okay you can see it in the name manager this is mtd actual you can see this vlookup then we have used the match to get the dynamic number of the month so we are matching this number in the actual seat this one the same thing we are doing with the target with the py with the by td target and the py because we have whole information available in these seats like here and here also okay so that is how we are adding this now here we have two cells this one and this one you can see and this is merge cell so this one we are using up down arrow let me show you this formula this one so basically what we are doing here we are checking if this value is more than 100% more than 1 this one then we are using the unicare 9650 otherwise unicare 9660 let me show you okay if i delete this formula then i am simply using if this value is greater than 1 means 100% then I am using unicare 9650 which is up arrow sign okay else I am using unicare 9660 that is down arrow okay so same thing is available here so we have just filled this down and then we have used the conditional formatting so and then here we have used like okay if this value is blank then this should be blank okay this is what we have used in the formula now i will show you the conditional formatting also we have used four conditional formatting let me show you one here we are using if f6 this type column is ltb and this is down arrow then it should show in green and if this is utb and it is up arrow then it should be green otherwise cases should be red okay so this is what we have used then we are highlighting in red and green that is how we have created this dashboard and for trend we just have created a drop down of the kpis here and after creating the drop down from drop down we have created from this kpi definition we have the kpi name we have created the drop down here and then we are using the vlookup so let me show you this one also let's go to the review and unprotect this one so here you can see we are using the index and match function because kpi group is on the left hand side right so we have used index and match function and then here we have simply used the vlookup function and here also vlookup and this is vlookup this is vlookup so this all information is coming 
from the KPI definition sheet on the basis of selected KPI. Now coming to the support sheet here you can see what we are doing we are using a VLOOKUP function whatever we have selected here this KPI we are using the VLOOKUP for that selected KPI all months data actual target and PY from the actual sheet from the target sheet and from the PY sheet we are getting this number you can see the formula here okay so we have all information here then we have created these two charts and let me show you the range of this chart select data so you can see the range of this chart we are taking it from here okay so this is totally dynamic when we change this then what will happen because of the VLOOKUP this all information will be changed and once we change it the information will be changed in the support sheet and once the information will be changed here the, these two charts will be changed because they are connected with the support sheet that is how we have created this dashboard so you can simply use this and you can add your KPIs to use it friends I hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching